Hey everyone, this is Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra. I'm bringing you another tips and tricks video here. This is a quick one on how to do inventory opening balances for both non-serialized and serialized items in the new methodology since 9.0 PL9. So let's jump right in here. Oh, uh, by the way, support me. support me at battleshipcobra.com basically just like subscribe uh, that really helps me if you do anything else that's awesome congratulations to Mo Ali I was just chatting with you I uh, wish you all the best and uh, good luck if you need anything just let me know <clears throat> so what am I talking about um, so there used to be the inventory posting methodology where you did the inventory count and then just kind of like moved over to the inventory posting but they really bulked up the capabilities past 9.0 PL9. So <clears throat> um, there is a, f a whole document here how to conduct inventory counting. So not only do they have like, you know, how to kind of do things technically, they have some sort of uh, some best practices in here too with kind of how they recommend doing inventory counts plus some information about actually Im importing those accounts and how to get them into the system. So if you look down below in the description, you'll see the link to this document. I'm just going to show you how to import opening balances and then I'm going to show you how to import uh, inventory posting really quickly. So let's jump into that. <clears throat> inventory, inventory, uh, inventory transactions, inventory opening balance. So this is, <clears throat> you know, there were a lot of different ways to do this before. You could um, use the inventory counting through the DTW. Um, you can use a goods receipt through uh, like the DTW2 using goods receipts. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and there's the inventory, you know, through, through those two mechanisms. Usually I would do it by just a goods receipt. Um, but this is actually even easier and I just did this and um, it there's a couple of little details but it's it's really really good and um, I'm gonna use this from now on and the beautiful thing is it really like it's really easy to import serialized items too and you don't even need to use the DTW I did about uh, 2,000 items and I don't know the 2,000 2,000 items might have taken I don't know, 30 seconds, it was a, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, it was very, very quick. So, you know, that's very, very quick uh, comparatively to other methods. So anyway, inventory, inventory transactions, inventory opening balances. In this case, I'm going to do the opening balances. <clears throat> the file that you need, I did non-serialized and serialized. So what you need is non-serialized, you just need the item code, the warehouse, make sure you put this as text style, not just one, two, three, four, that'll screw you up. Quantity, whatever your count quantities were. It's tolerant of multiple rows of the same item as long as they have the same prices, it seems. Otherwise, you can use a pivot and just pivot a bunch of data into a summary. So if you don't know what a pivot table is, just look up on YouTube how to do a pivot table. It basically takes, you know, if you have 50 rows of the same item, you can basically just say, here's my data, and then make a pivot table and it'll summarize based on those items. And it, it's very straightforward. And then it'll just summarize the totals and it'll give you kind of like a final summarized version so you don't have to kind of manually go through and and uh, add them up. <clears throat> so in this case I've already done this here. Items, warehouse, quantity, price or uh, cost and then the item code. So the thing about this is if you have a segmented chart of accounts you need to use your OACT system account code. In this case I'm not using the, I'm not using segmented because this is just a demo a demo database. If this was if this was a segmented chart accounts, you'd get that underscore sys code. So just look for select star from OACT. If it was, scroll down and then look for it. So in this case I'm just using an opening balance account. So I'm using 993 da da da. So all I need to do is put that in there. Again, you put sys in there. 
even though you're going to end up seeing the account code if it's a segmented chart of accounts you have to use the system code it will give you errors if you don't do that so for serialized items you basically just need the item the warehouse quantity of one obviously per each line the pre price or cost this doesn't really matter but just to be picky the code and then I just add the serial at the end here with the serialized uh, the serial numbers per line so if you've ever tried to do anything with a DTW using like uh, the goods receipt methodology, man, this is so much easier. And in the case of this last client, um, they had a scanner that just literally output one row. It was almost identical to this. So I had to do a little bit of cleanup, but it was 10 times faster than the previous DTW methodology. So that's really cool. So when you've done these two, remember to file, save as, and save it to a tab delimited and then I save it to non-serialized and then serialized. What you want to do is also remove this header row. You don't need this header row. So I've actually deleted it after saving my file there. Make sure that once you have saved these that you close the spreadsheet. Say, go file, save as here. I'll just do it. Why not? tab delimited so this was my non serialized serialized file save as nah, huh. tab delimited serialized okay save them both and then just close this click don't save no because you don't want it to save over top you you have your original folder or file there come in here remove it save come in here remove it save can reopen this if you want because now you're reopening the spreadsheet you're not reopening the tab if you have those tab files open <clears throat> uh, it won't load so now you come into inventory opening balance it doesn't matter what your columns are I've already cleaned it up so it's roughly the same but it, it doesn't really matter um, you do have to define the columns here so in this case I just look here non serialized item warehouse quantity cost code item warehouse quantity cost code check this if you don't check the import file for errors it'll just give you an error one at a time and that gets annoying so now what you want to do is select your file to import go to desktop here pick my non serialized so I'm going to check this if there were errors and you have this box checked it's going to give you the full list of errors you can isolate those errors they're very clear in comparison to the DTW and um, then you can fix those re-import the errors so I'm going to just say yes so boom you have all this stuff here it's perfect you can even so you can add this back data or whatnot I'm just even gonna add my serialized items import so the way that I have formatted it with the serial number at the end now all I need to do is add serial number check import file just over the desktop serialized import no errors and it'll import it <clears throat> so I'm going to check my journal entry. You can go in here and uh, you can add up quantity times cost. So in this case it would be that plus quantity times cost and just do that all together as a product and sum. And then you can compare this. It's so easy. So remember that's your journal entry preview. And then you can just add these in here. So if you add these, you'll be able to see serial numbers. So you can see all the serial numbers that were added. Very, very, very easy. Super duper easy. Okay, I'm not going to click add because I want to show you also the inventory posting. So <clears throat> that is the more complicated way to do it. Actually, there's also, I mean, not complicated as opposed to the goods receipt methodology, but oops. Um, you also have inventory transactions, inventory counting transactions, and inventory posting. So if you've already counted this in an inventory, um, like in a spreadsheet, you can do the exact same thing for an inventory posting. Add items, import items, same thing, check this. Um, in theory, you want to remove the code and then just save it as a tab delimited so you, you don't need the code it's going to automatically use the, um, the inventory offset accounts for accounting do the same thing put that there in this case I'm going to click my non-serialized and I'm going to check 
no errors, and push yes. So you can see this is not a great example because there's like 898 in this warehouse and then I only counted two according to my file so there's a gigantic variance. So this is kind of suspect but <clears throat> really this is already done the inventory posting so you're doing a whole bunch of adjustments so easily you don't need to do um, you, you know you, you don't have to enter everything into the count sheet you can do the count sheet and and this guide explains you can do the inventory counting without cost you can freeze the item this has a lot more options I'm just showing you how to do the imports today so you can do the same thing journal enter preview fix stuff up and add it backdate it whatever you need to do so that's my uh, tips and tricks for this. It's very simple, uh, very, very easy to do your opening balances this way. If you've been doing this through goods receipts and things like that, even with serialized items or batch managed items, it's, it's so much easier. So just use this methodology. And um, I hope this helps. Check supportme.battleshipcobra.com. Thank you guys so much. Thanks you, thank you, my sapiens. Uh, talk to you later. Bye for now.